Okay, so welcome to my game. Uh, as you can see here, there is the ship, the color in red, and the obstacles are colored in gray. And at the top of the screen, there is also um, a health bar indicated by this red bar, right? So let's see. So first, the ship is able to move around by pressing the WASD um, keys. And then um, whenever the, the ship is trying to go out of the screen, my program will prevent that from happening. So let's, so let's see. So this is the left boundary. It cannot go out of the left boundary. There is the top boundary. cannot go out of that as well. And there is uh, the right boundary. It cannot go out of that as well. And here is the bottom boundary. You can see that it cannot go out of there as well. And whenever the, the ship is trying to hit the, one of the obstacles, it will turn its color to, to yellow and then freeze or sleep for quite some time and then goes back to the origin color and keep on, keep playing the game. Um, whenever the, the ship is hitting the one of the obstacles, as you can see also at the top, the bar is gonna decrease. So I will, so I, I count until it hits five times. If there are five collisions, then the, the game over screen will be displayed as you can see after this. So here is the five counts and then you'll see RIP on the screen indicating that the game is over. And then immediately it will restart from beginning. Right, and also if you want to restart during the game, you can do so by pressing P and it will just restart straight away. Um, I think that's all for the basic features and functionalities. Uh, one thing that I would like to point out is what I do for the Mustang 4 is that um, I increase the speed over time. So what happened is um, every time the number of obstacles that goes out of the screen exceeds some amount of threshold that I have set in my program, then I will start to increase the speed of the game, right? So if you see the game carefully, you will notice that um, after, it, after it exceeds some amount of, um, some amount of threshold, yeah, at this point, as you can see at this point, the game becomes slightly faster. And then after this, quite some time again, the, the game will be even faster. Um, and one detail that I would like to sort of maybe mention is that the way that it works is like um, the number of threshold is not constant. So let's say the initial threshold is 10, then the next time around, it will be something like 20. The next time around, it will be 30 and so on. This is because if the number of threshold is constant, then the game will be very quickly became, becoming boring and it's not really playable. So I figured out that it, it's much better to, to make the threshold uh, changing at increasing rate. Yeah, so that is the only milestone that I have implemented for the, the milestone four. So yeah, uh, that sums up my entire game. Thank you for watching.